Hello everyone, thank you for watching the Nubidia World videos. So this is the part 5 video of PFCG transporting and distributing roads. Okay, so so far we have learned about uh, you know the different functions of PFCG like uh, changing and assigning roads. Okay, so creating simple roads, creating composite roads in PFCG. So in this video we learn about transporting and distributing roads now so you go to the transaction pfcg now you enter the role which has to be transported okay so enter the role to be transported and choose transport role okay so the mass transport of role screen appears you can control the default setting for options also transport single roles for composite roles and also transport generated profiles for roads using customizing switches okay so the main option is this one you go to utilities and you go to mass transport okay so you can uh, transport the single roles for composite roles and you can also transport the generated profiles for roads okay so you have different options there okay so the basic thing is you enter the role which has to be transported and you go to this mass transport option okay now you should not change the authorization profiles of the roles after you have included the role in your transport request if you need to change the profiles or generate them for the first time transport the entire role again afterwards it's very new see now you have uh, selected some authorizations okay you have created a role selected some authorizations you have generated the profile now you are ready to transport that role now if, if you change the authorizations and you know if you generate a new profile then you have to transport the role again okay just that that has to be very important so even the role name is same you have changed the authorizations a new profile is created the role name is same but still the objects in the role are changed so you have to transport that role again so this you have to keep in mind so sometimes what happens so generally the roles are created in the development box and they are moved to production nobody does all this pfcg activity in the production boxes they do the security team they do it in the development box okay so and they transport the roles to production so that's how it happens in the projects now you have created a role for the first time you have selected some authorizations you have generated a profile now you want to transport it to production and you have transported it now what happened after few months certain authorizations have been updated or deleted in that role and a new profile was generated now you have to transport that role again to the production box okay even though the role name is seen because the authorizations are updated the role has to be transported again okay so similarly when you do uh, when you use a central user administration the roles are generally you know all the maintenance happen, happens in the central system and it's transported and distributed to the child systems okay so there also it's very important that always when roles are updated with you know new authorizations new profile is created you have to re-transport the role again to all to all the systems which you have transported earlier okay so please keep that in mind now in the following dialog box you specify whether the user assignment and the personalization data should also be transported okay so you have an option like it's it's not only the profile which okay so it's not only the authorizations which you transport you have an option to transport the user menus and the users which are assigned to the role also now if the user assignments are also transported they will replace the entire user assignment of roles in the target system to lock a system so that the user assignment of roles cannot be imported enter it in the customizing table prgn and underscore cust using the transaction sm30 add the line user will import and the value no okay now this is very very critical okay okay so this is an important thing see like in development the users are different in quality the users are different and in production the users are different okay so by mistake when you are transporting the role you have chosen the option like you transport the user menus and the users also so all this development you know the role which is having the assignment of users in the development system the same thing it, it goes and checks in production and the transport will fail and you know it disturbs everything the role assignments in the production are you know disturbed okay so to prevent that to happen what we have to do 
this is the table prgn underscore trust you go to sm30 and you add this value user rel, rel import no okay so that even though my mistake when you select that user assignment uh, thing while transporting the user assign all the users which are assigned to that role so that part is not transported okay so in all especially in the production system seven and qa and all other systems also because every system has its own users the users of development box are the development team the users in the production box are the end users so you should be very careful okay so that's why uh, this particular table is there okay so you add this line user will import as no so that the user part okay so, uh, only the uh, authorizations and the profiles are transported and the users part of the role are not transported okay so so this is a good point to remember so you you enter a transport request name okay the role is entered in a customizing request use transaction as it to display this so the roles are transported via customizing request the authorization profiles are then transported along with the roles unless the profile parameter transport uh, system type is set in the sap system with the value sap in this case only the profiles whose roles are assigned to customer relevant delivery class are transported okay so here what happens is uh, this is a customizing request so the profiles are also transported along with the roles until okay this this value uh, uh, the profile parameter transport system type is set okay in this sap to the system to the value sap okay so in this case only the profiles whose roles are assigned to customer relevant delivery class are transported okay so generally what happens is roles along the profiles are transported you need not worry about this what i have whatever i have described here make sure that the roles along with the profiles are transported okay so unless this particular parameter is set to sap this profile parameter transport system type is set to sap okay so uh, this is how it happens you can check in sc then okay so you have the request okay and it has a task also so you perform a user master comparison and a tag system now because the new role with the new profiles is reflecting you have to do a user master comparison in the target system because they the users are different so then you adjust all the users to pick up these new authorizations okay so uh, so in this video we have learned about transporting and distributing roles okay so you go to bfcg you enter the role which has to be transported and you go to this mass transport option okay now first thing is like every time when you change the authorizations in the role and you generate a new profile and make sure that's also very important every time you do any authorizational changes in the role you have to generate a new profile okay so okay so when you do that you have to retransport the role again to the target systems okay that is the first point and the other important thing which we have learned in this video is along with this roles profiles authorizations even the user menu and the users or the users which are assigned to this role even that that structures are also transported okay because each system has its own users the target system will not have the same users as that of the source system so to prevent that uh, causing any problem in this table prgn underscore cast we give this user rel import as no okay so so what happens you give a request name it's a customizing request okay so later you can you release it from the source system and it can be transported to a qa and develop uh, production from the development box okay now other thing is like uh, generally the profiles are also transported along with the roles if you don't want that to happen you, you have a parameter where you set some value okay uh, so that is a minor thing but generally the profiles and roles are transported together the roles are developed in the development box and they are transported across the landscape development to qa qa to production okay thank you